Hi there, and in this video in our Morella Explorer series, we show you what the ship has to offer in terms of its restaurants and food. Let's make a start with those options that are included in the price of your cruise fare. Latitude 53 is located on deck 5 and 6 aft. This is the main waiter service restaurant, which is simply a gorgeous setting to dine in, decorated with a grey and gold colour scheme and with impressive floor to ceiling windows. The menu here changes each evening and offers traditional dishes as well as some of those from locations you visit. It is also open each morning for breakfast. Located in Latitude 53, on Deck 5, in the evening you will find Vista, which is a contemporary Italian restaurant. Here you can get regional Italian favourites made with authentic ingredients. I really love the carbonara, which goes into the cheese wheel for a small extra charge. Now sushi is not our thing, but if it's sushi, sashimi or nigiri rolls that you're after, then here is the place for you as the food is prepared right in front of your eyes. Located on Deck 5 Mid you'll find the Dining Club. This fine dining restaurant was made for foodies. You'll be treated to high-end cuisine, like seared scallops with champagne butter, which makes it the ideal spot for an extra special evening. We did check out the menu whenever we cruise, which looked impressive, but our tastes were not suited, unfortunately. This restaurant also hosts the great musical Afternoon Tea. This is the Buffet Restaurant. It is made up of lots of different food stalls, hence its name, The Marketplace. It is open all day, serving breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, and not to mention those cheeky late night snacks. We always find there to be plenty of choice for each meal time, and on our cruise, the food was always hot. There's a design your own station every night, where you can choose all your ingredients for dishes like a stir fry. At breakfast time, there's an egg station where you can order your poached eggs or omelettes made to order.
The snack shack is located poolside on deck 11, where you'll find food stalls and beach huts which make up the laid back eatery. Here you'll find grab and go lunches and snacks such as burgers, fries, fish goujons and then in the chillers you'll find frick cups, filled rolls etc. Next to the snack shack you'll find Skips which is the onboard ice cream bar. Ice cream here is chargeable per skip and can either be served in a tub or freshly made waffle cone. Before our cruise we booked an evening in Corolla. Here you will feel like you've switched continents when you dine at this restaurant. It offers a pan-Asian selection of curries and noodle dishes a separate sushi menu, plus bespoke dishes created by master chef Ian Pingeli exclusively for Morella Cruises. We absolutely loved this dining experience, the food was so tasty, the waiting staff were all so pleasant, well versed in the menu and helping us to make our food choices and made us feel relaxed that we could sit as long as we wanted to enjoy our food and drink. This restaurant specialises in all things meat. On the menu here, you will find the likes of chops, lobster, grilled chicken, but the highlight has to be the 28 day aged steaks. This is one of the ship's speciality restaurants, so there's a charge to dine here. We recommend you make a reservation in advance. Johnny did have to send his steak back as it was a little undercooked to his liking, but staff were very obliging to ensure that it was put right. All in all, we really enjoyed our dining experience in Surf and Turf and would definitely recommend trying this as a nice little treat on your next cruise. Located aft on deck 11, this space has a lot to offer both during the day and in the evening. During the day, the Italian section offers pizza by the slice and made to order pasta dishes. Simply choose your pasta type, sauce and fillings and then collect when your buzzer sounds. In the evening, you can start things off with a salad and then create your own pizzas and pastas at this laid back restaurant. The other side of the bar has a selection of filled rolls, salads, baked potatoes and each day there is a daily panini and wrap special. And in the evening you'll be whisked to sunny Spain where you dine in this section of the Mediterranean which specialises in tapas dishes for dinner. Or you can take your taste buds over to Portugal and try espadadas, meat or vegetable skewers for a little extra. My favourite meal was definitely at Corla. Between the experience, the tasty food, the environment, everything was just spot on for me. And yeah, the, the food itself was really tasty and that was the number one thing. What was it you had again? I had the Angus shaking beef. Yeah, it looked really nice. It was really nice. So my favorite meal actually was in the restaurant Vista, which is the onboard um, Italian restaurant, which is included in the, the cost of your cruise fare. I had the carbonara and you pay a small charge, I think it's about yeah. £4.95, uh, and they bring over the, the big cheese wheel to your table and they, they put in your carbonara and mix it round. So it was really creamy, really cheesy. I really enjoyed it. The service, I have to say, it was a bit slow that night, but we were sitting in company and there was four of us at the table. We had a few glasses of wine, a few drinks, and we, we weren't really that bothered that we were there for two hours. But you still had experience. tasty food. And yeah. the food was amazing. And um, so I would definitely recommend trying Vista whenever you're on board for Ella Explorer. I don't think standards have slipped, to be honest. Um, we Before our cruise, we had read 
on Facebook groups and things that people were so disappointed with the food, that their food was like cold and things like that. And we really didn't experience that. Um, we no. really enjoyed every meal that we've had. We hope that in this video you can see that the, the meals have looked really tasty and really yeah, nice. Yeah, and the variety presented. of meals across all the restaurants and the eateries. Yeah. There's plenty of choice, especially if you aren't wanting to go to speciality and you're just wanting to choose all the included options. There's yeah. options for everyone. Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching and we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, uh, please give it a like. Um, and please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified the next time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.